I love our clean water captains. It's because they're awesome. But the reason they're awesome is because they are our local ambassadors for water quality initiatives. They are our eyes, our ears, and the voice of the Bay. I'm passionate about making sure that we honor the earth that we've inherited and that it is in good shape for future generations. I really think if we can solve the myriad of issues facing the Chesapeake Bay, uh, whether it's stormwater runoff, agricultural runoff, um, you know, bringing back oysters, the fisheries, etc. If we can do a good job here and show that it can be done in the Chesapeake Bay, then I think we can do it anywhere in the world. Um, and I think CBF is doing an awesome job at that. We need to convince folks to get involved and to change their habits in their uh, own backyard, to plant more native plants, to put in living shorelines, to put in trees and maintain the trees. And it'll be those activities that will result in habitat for wildlife, um, food for birds, and also ultimately um, reduce stormwater runoff and clean water going into the bay. Do I think saving the bay is important? Or why am I so invested in it? Um, aside from the sort of the very common reasons, a love for water, uh, for wildlife, the, and the flora, um, you know, there are a lot of issues out there that seem so big and they're so hard to tackle um, in this world. And so many of them seem outside of our sphere of influence. But this is a problem that we can fix. This is a fight that we can and will win. This is a fight that once we do win, and it's, you know, it, it's, it's not easy, but once you do, there are so many other benefits, social, cultural, economic benefits that come from fixing this issue. And this is, you know, an issue that we all contributed to, and it's, it's high time. We've been working on this for a long time. We're so close. Uh, it's time to finish the job and see all the other benefits that will be spurred from this one success.